Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're gonna to talk about correctly diagnosing your smoking turbo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Often people misdiagnose a smoking turbocharger as having blown seals. The seal isn't a conventional seal like you would think. It's a small ring, looks a lot like a piston ring, and it's located by the bearing system of the turbocharger. As long as the bearing system of the turbocharger is locating the shaft of the turbo, the seal doesn't leak. Before you jump to conclusions and think that your turbo seals are bad, there's a few things that you need to look at. The oil feed, the oil drain, and the orientation of the turbocharger in relation to the running oil level of the engine. The oil feed's job is to supply oil to the turbocharger to keep it lubricated and cool. As a general rule on most small and mid-frame turbochargers, we use a Dash 3 feed here at Real Street. Assuming that your oiling system of your engine is working properly, this will be just fine. The oil drain is important because if the oil cannot drain out of the turbo fast enough, it will fill the cartridge and then start to pressurize past the seals. So you need to have the correct size drain. We generally use a Dash 10 line and the drain needs to have a clear, unrestricted path back to the engine. The best way to visualize that the turbo's orientation to the engine is correct is that the oil can fall through the bearing housing, back into the oil pan without restriction, and the most vertical path possible. Some applications don't loan themselves to a vertical turbo drain. If you have a rear mount turbo, a low mount turbo, or you sport front wheel drive Honda guys, you could incur a situation where you must use a scavenge pump. Not to go into detail about the scavenge pump, but its role is to pull the oil from the turbocharger and push it back into the engine because there isn't a vertical drain available. To try to drive the point home, the oil feed faces up, the oil drain faces down. Only gravity is going to return the oil back to the engine, so the drain path needs to be as vertical as possible. So in a turbocharge application, make sure you're venting the valve cover enough that you're not accumulating crankcase pressure. Once the crankcase is pressurized, the oil cannot drain freely out of the housing. You can vent the crankcase through the valve cover. Generally, we use two Dash 10 lines headed to a catch can. Thanks for your time today. I appreciate you tuning in and watching these tech tips. I'll see you on Facebook or YouTube. Have a good week.